before your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 52 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we start up this episode away at Newcastle United. Now, if you cast your mind back, the last time we played this fixture away at Newcastle was in the FA Cup. And it was an absolute belter. We ran out 5-3 winners. But we've been struggling in the Premier League of recent. So you can see we sit 5th now, still... Seven points off the top of the table with four games left. We still can do it. We just have to believe. But Alessio Churchy goes through here, takes a deflection. Unfortunately, nothing was going to come of the corner. But they stated their intent early on there with it, with that chance and with this one as well. Musa Sissoko breaking free. Lovely turn on the edge of the box. Finds Churchy, slots underneath the goalkeeper. And we find ourselves 1-0 down away at Newcastle, away at St. James's Park. Not good enough, Chez. We need better. But while the uh, the highlights continue to go in the background, I will, of course, remind you yet again, there is a link in the description to a straw poll to uh, vote for one of the five teams on there that you guys would like to see as the next career mode starting next week do feel free to check that link check the poll vote and have your say as to what team we start with starting next week but let's get back to the action we had a decent chance there tipped over by the goalkeeper Oscar's going to have another shot from the corner drops to John Terry in the box finds Leroy Fur. there's no need for him to do that particular turn there I really don't know why he didn't t just take it in his stride but he finds the ball back at his feet has another good shot and again it's the goalkeeper that thwarts us Tim Krull has done it time and time again this season even in the last episode against West Ham with Adrian making save after save after save I thought oh no not again we've had just chance after chance in this particular passage of play another corner after deflected effort it almost sneaks into the bottom corner but it doesn't quite we're going to have another chance and it's cleared off the line they hook it away drops on the edge of the box again this time it's Oscar tries to finesse shot comes off a hand nothing given a Newcastle breakaway so we went in at half time 1-0 down but you can see we've already had so many chances in this first half I just felt so so confident that we were going to be able to push on and get a result from this one as you can see from the first half 61% possession nine shots six on target surely it was just a matter of time before we were able to get ourselves back into this tie and perhaps in front Fernando Torres races away gets another good shot off from this is literally straight after the uh, the restart and that again it was me stating my intent for the second half to continue the barrage that was coming at them from the first Leroy Fur finds Fernando Torres again races away can't quite get there in time to get it past Tim Krull makes a good save with his feet Another good chance coming up just around the corner from that. Asamoah finds Van Ginkle. Looking down the right-hand side for Leroy Fur to play in Thomas Callas. He's going to try and get across in if he possibly can. Finds Leroy Fur, drills it at the post, and it hits the base of the post. Doesn't quite go into the back of the net. It stays out. So we make a change just a couple of minutes after that. Kevin De Bruyne is coming on for Oscar. His fitness lets him down yet again. We're going to have to rely on the young Belgian to try and have another impact from the bench if he possibly can. Alla the Champions League final last year. Try and get us a goal, but it's Fernando Torres that's played in behind now he's going to get another great chance well saved by Tim Krull yet again and Newcastle are going to scramble it clear so can we get ourselves a goal in the final stages in fact it's Newcastle in stoppage time puts it down the left hand side it's Mame Baramdu squares the ball up goes Vukcic we go 2-0 down all that dominance for the entirety of the the 90 minutes and we find ourselves 2-0 down completely unjust and undeserved we're gonna have another chance for the game is out Fernando Torres breaks free of the defense another good save from Tim Krull gonna try and get the ball back in if we possibly can but Newcastle scramble it clear again and it's another disappointing result from us I don't know what's been happening the past few the past few episodes we just haven't been able to pick up the results We've had chance after chance after chance in game. 14 shots, 11 on target, no goals. No goals. If you remember from the West Ham game in the previous episode, we had 14 shots, 12 on target, just two goals. I don't know what's happening right now. I'll tell you one thing that I do know for certain though, and that is that we are definitely missing Arturo Vidal. He has been absolutely crucial for us since he came into the club and he ran things in the midfield and I really am missing having him. Of course, he's been out for such a long time with anterior, anterior cruciate ligament damage. He's been out for seven months total. He's just such a big loss to the team. But uh, hopefully we can bounce back against Swansea. And we'll have to wait and see what happens. But we'll be able to see the uh, the league table coming up on your screen in just a second. Things really have gone from bad to worse as it things stand in the league. We were challenging for the Premier League title all season long. We now find ourselves in fifth position. 
Still seven points off the top with three games remaining. I think the title is out of our reach now. If we can get a result here against Swansea, we do still stand a slim, slim chance of getting that title. But I think Champions League football is now the main aim. We just need to finish top four for next season if we possibly can if we're going to be coming back to this career mode but Boney put Swansea 1-0 up early on a fantastic finish but unfortunately the defender couldn't go up and clear it when the ball first came in it was just over his head David Luiz couldn't react in time and it's a fantastic finish take nothing away from Wilfred Boney their great first touch and the acrobatics to put it into the back of the net are absolutely superb but again we're going to try and get ourselves back in it just like we did against Newcastle this time Lewis Muriel tries an overhead kick of his own and it doesn't quite find the back of the net it, flies past that near post and Michel Vorm can wipe his brow the chance has gone amiss and gone awry but Swansea came back at me towards the, uh, the start of the second half it's actually Wayne Routley's doing the business down the right hand side or our right hand side their left hand side they nearly gets the first challenge and falls back to uh, Wayne Routledge Boney so good in the air just powers the header into the back of the net we find ourselves 2-0 down at the start of the second half not what we needed from this game right now Everything just appears to be slipping away from us in the final stages of the season. I just cannot believe it. But Petrček's going to play the ball over the top. Right, it's going to get a lovely breakaway here. Andre Scherler's going to find himself in behind. He's got the pace. Fantastic chest to bring it down. We're back in the game. That's one goal back. We need a second. Go and get the ball, Andre. Get it back to the kickoff spot. We need to get ourselves a second goal. But uh, it's actually Swansea that are going to come back at us, trying to get themselves a third and kill the tie off. I was waiting for the cutback, read it too early. It did come, but Petek makes a great save. We are eventually going to scramble the ball clear. It's going to go out for a corner, but nothing is going to come of it. One more chance left. Is it ours or is it theirs? As you can see, it's theirs. They're actually going to get another rebound goal. We had so many of those in the previous episode. Nathan Dyer dives in with the header. It's completely killed our season. Completely killed our season. We're not going to win the title. Guaranteed. We finished third last year. We got Champions League football. We need to finish in the top four this season. If I'm going to come back to this series later on in the year after we've done another career mode, I want Champions League football. As you can see, one, two, three... Four games without a win there. We have to go back even further. Five games without a win. Six. Seven in the second game against Dortmund. Eight with that cup tie against Aston Villa. It's actually nine games since we recorded a win in all competitions. I just I just don't know what's happened. We have completely crumbled. As, as you can see, we level on terms with Liverpool, but they have a game in hand. Every team around us has a game in hand as we head into the final episode of the season. Can we end with some decent results? Can we get Champions League football? Unfortunately, it's all we've got to play for right now, but it's still a massive, massive incentive. So come back tomorrow. In fact, no, it's not actually tomorrow. We're not having a Wednesday episode this week just because I've only got a couple more episodes left of this particular career mode. So we'll be back on Thursday with this career mode. We'll have Road to Division 1 as always on Wednesday and then, uh, and then we'll have to see what happens. But... Oh, the last one is going to be good, boys. The last one is going to be good. It is literally all or nothing. But that's going to bring this particular episode to a close. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. Of course, I urge you, please do check the link in the description to the straw poll. Go and vote for the team that you want me to play with in the next career mode. And uh, there will be a link to the previous episode of this series on screen over that annotation and a link to subscribe as well over the bottom button and links in the description to subscribe and to my Twitter as well. So uh, that's all from today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.